First here at 6 o'clock, former President Donald Trump pleads not guilty to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. This is the first time, of course, any U.S. president, former or current, has been charged with a crime. News on 6's Alex Cameron is live outside the Manhattan Courthouse with more details. Alex? Well, Lori, Craig, things have really calmed down here compared to three or four hours ago. It's not that the crowd here was so massive. It was just that it was very passionate and in a relatively tight area. You know, from a distance earlier today, you might have thought it was a block party or some sort of festival, but up a little closer and you could see the party was actually competing groups of demonstrators, hundreds of them, one faction celebrating former President Trump, the other ridiculing him. The two groups separated from each other by police barricades. At times today, it did seem like a powder keg ready to blow, but police did a very good job of keeping everything buttoned down. So here are the details of the indictment. 34 felony counts, all of falsifying business records and all related to the $130,000 payment made by Trump attorney Michael Cohen to Stormy Daniels to keep her quiet about an alleged affair with Trump. Now, when asked how he was going to plead to the charges, President Trump himself said not guilty. One reporter who was in the courtroom told me that Trump was outwardly very calm. President Trump has his motionless position for most of the session. Uh, he only spoke 12 words altogether, two of which were not guilty. So he was there for an hour, but there was very little emotion as a whole from him. And certainly we expect a less quiet, less calm, much more emotional uh, former President Trump tonight when he addresses a large group of supporters in Mar-a-Lago. Live in lower Manhattan, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.